Hello guys, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to steal clothes on Roblox. So the first thing you have to do is go to marketplace over here and click clothing and for example classic shirts. Then you have to choose a shirt that you want to copy. So um, it can be whatever you want. Let's just say I want this shirt over here. So what you have to do now is you have to find a plugin. You can do it by going to my profile. This is the user. Go to inventory and go to plugins, which are here and install this plugin. When you have it installed, you can just go to your Roblox studio by going to Roblox Studio, you have to click Create and go to your Experience or Open Studio. So now, when you have Open Studio, you should have uh, this plugin button right on the top, and then you need to click Load Plug Load Character because we already installed the plugin. Then you should have it. Now you can type your user if you want, but you don't really have to. I'm just gonna use um, the first one that pops up. So now the second step is to copy this ID of your clothes, right? Go to already pro, it can be also your username or stuff like that. Then you have to click this arrow. And go to shirts if you want to upload a shirt or pants if you want to upload a pants. So I'm going to click shirts because it's a shirt I want to upload. I'm going to delete this by clicking delete. And paste the code we have here. You can just click ctrl C and ctrl V here. Now when you have it copied, click answer. And it should appear here. Now you want to copy this code again, click Ctrl C, go to your shirt and delete this code and click Ctrl V. Now uh, this shirt should appear, you just want to wait a little bit if it doesn't want to load, like, the, like so. Now it load, loaded, now you have to go to Photopia. Click the first uh, thing that pops up. I'm also gonna leave a link in the description of this video. Now go to Roblox shirt template and you can click transparent, whatever. Then go to pictures and click uh, on this colors and transparent. Now the first thing that's appeared it's this. But I'm gonna just leave a uh, link to this uh, template that I'm using in the description. But you can also find it in the Google browser if you want to. Now click co copy or control C. I'm pretty sure both works. Now paste this in Photopia by clicking control V. Go to your shirt. Copy this or click control C and control V. Now you want to have uh, the transform controls on, so you can drag it, right? So make sure you have transforms on, control C, we want to drag it, like so. Uh, now the thing you want to do is click on background, which is the template, like the empty template, the transparent one, and you want to drag it over the shirt layer, right? Now we have something like this, it's looking great. Now you just want to save it as PNG. You can call it whatever you want, make sure to, that the quality is on 100% and click save. Now go back to your Roblox. Uh, you can click create or groups, I'm just gonna upload this as a group. So we have this group over here, make sure to join it. Click create or manage group items. Now it's loading. Gotta take a while. <laughs> now when you see that uh, the first things pop up, you can click t-shirts or basically shirts. It should this thing should appear. 
Now click experience, events or avatar items. You have to click avatar items. Then you want to go to classics. And you want to choose the type of uh, shirt that you want to upload. So in my case, it's shirts. So now you have to click upload assets and choose the file that your shirt is. So mine is this. Um, now you can call whatever you want. I want to type shirt or cool shirt. Doesn't really matter. Make sure this is assist type shirt because if it's t-shirt, it doesn't gonna work or pants. It's just gonna be look messed up. And if you want to upload this as a group, you just have to click the group here. But if you don't want to, you just have to click your username right there and it should be all fine if you don't have a group. Now you need 10 Robux to upload this. So uh, make sure to upload. Now when it's uploading, it can take like 10 seconds, shouldn't take more. And now what you can do is go out of this to your avatar and now what you can do is click your cool shirt and um, configure it and make it on sale for five robux now you created a shirt now it now it's gonna load like five to ten minutes or more it's up to the how big the shirt is or like the image but the final product is looking like this pretty fire I would say very easy to get um, now it's hard to see because my avatar so I'm gonna change it real quick um, to like this classic noob so you can test our shirt how it looks so just gonna refresh the page if it doesn't want to load so yeah, this is how our final product looks, it looks fire. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you find this video helpful. And see you in the next one.